What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Unleashed Blading video. So, a day later, we finally got our reveal for our next banner. <clears throat> I'm sure most people saw this coming because it's very rare where these two do not get either a banner together or following banners together of the same color. We are, of course, getting a new Alice to go with the Aedis that dropped last week. I thought there might be a chance that they wouldn't do it just because we do have a few Earth Alices and, you know, one has an EX uh, upgrade, so maybe they would have thought that that would have been good enough, but apparently not. They want to drop a new uh, Alice, so that'll be kind of nice. There is also going to be a birthday illustration for Aegil. Hopefully, uh, this means we can at least see a unit for him somewhat in the near future. Uh, now that we've finally gotten our first summonable Klein, Aegil is the final one on the list from Kirito's main group, who we still do not have a summonable unit for. Um, and of course, Liz and Silica uh, have not gotten a unit in like almost two years now. So hopefully that can <laughs> happen as well at some point. Uh, if you haven't checked my video yesterday, there is going to be a limited uh, banner reissue. Um, it works the same way a normal banner does, except that the featured units are all just a bunch of limited units. Uh, the only thing to really note here is that the Kirito and Asuna here from the 1.5 anniversary will not come with their song if you pull them here. It's only if you pulled them back during the anniversary. Um, but there are some good units on here if you are missing a lot of these, uh, limited units. But if you're only missing, like, one or two of them, I wouldn't bother summoning because the odds of you getting one out of the 10 that you want is not very high. Um, there is a bug error uh, that's kind of going on. Uh, they did give us 50. I don't know if they gave it to us yet. I don't remember. But uh, some characters or some voice lines weren't being played in certain areas. So, uh, Okay, so let's take a look at... Okay, Dreamy Spring is the new season. Let's take a look at Alice. Let's finally move on over to that. So, it doesn't look like she's limited. Nope, she looks just normal, so that's good. So, I will be skipping. If she was limited, I was going to summon because I have to at least try for every limited Alice. But since she is not limited, I will get her down the line. Um, I think there's another Alice on this banner. Do they have their seven? Oh, no. Maybe it'll be on her raid up we'll get the uh, other Alice. But, uh, yeah, Earth Alice to go with the Aedis. Alice's partner is obviously going to be Aedis. You can see it right there. Magic unit. Let's take a look at her stats. 6540 HP. Uh, 2480 magic attack. Obviously a magic unit. Uh, 321 speed. So a very uh, speedy unit right there with some decent power to it. She is a charge unit. So magic attack strong on single enemy. Recovers HP. Okay, so she does uh, recover HP. And what's even nicer is she's not a... Uh, Enhanced mode unit for this, so she'll be able to heal at all times. That's actually really good. Um, so yeah, recovers HP weak of all allies. Raises critical damage by 10% for two turns. Current charge 20%. Her assault does a uh, similar thing. Magic attack extra strong on single enemy. Recovers HP weak of all allies. Raises critical 10% for two turns. And then she is a break, yell, and protect, and field. So she's going to, since she's a break, yell, she's going to be, what is it, uh, lenal? I think it's Lenal that's the other, the original Break Yell. So we finally have a replacement for her. So that's kind of nice with this Alice. Still not going to summon for her because I've already done my ranking event attempt. There's no real reason to summon after you've already kind of done what you want to do for that. Um, but she's still going to be very solid if you do not uh, have a Break Yell character. Um, so yeah. Uh, Raising Current Break. Uh, a single ally by 2.25. For one turn, raises physical resistance of all allies by 15% for two turns, and recollection field earth plus one. That's all very solid. Uh, obviously, her incarnate is not going to give the plus three. We already got that with Adis. Uh, but her incarnate magic attack on single enemy raises physical resistance of all allies by 20% for three turns. Okay, another buff. Her imaginarium just increases charge. Her special partner is Adis, and then her party skill is magic attack 5%. Member skill, 1%. And then, of course, she has Incarnate Combo and Charge Stack. Uh, we already take a, took a look down here at all the other... Uh, so here it is. This is the Lenal I was... Uh, is this the one? No, it's Feasel that... Uh, wait, is it this one? 
No, yeah, 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 it is this one. So this Lino right here uh, is the other Break Yell character. So uh, obviously this Alice is much better even just by the additional effects that are on it. But uh, besides that, there's really not much to say. This drops on the 10th, so it drops tomorrow. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the uh, fe uh, unfeatured pool, see if it changed at all. It should still be Mito, I assume, for the uh, the end. Uh, yep, still cut off point Mito because we've gotten so many limited banners. There isn't. They're really slowing down on the uh, the unfeatured pool getting more units because there's just been so little to even add uh i kind of went over this in a previous video where we looked at the imaginariums you can actually exchange for here uh let's actually scroll down i'll do it again right here real quick before we get out of here uh you really look at it scroll down here the first anniversary is right here like kirito and asana down here so we've only gotten a handful of units in the last year uh, overall. But even just like these last few, like Mito is the cutoff point. Mito's right here. There are only three other units. We have only gotten three uh, non-limited units, not counting, uh, you know, the Alice we're about to get, since the uh, Mito banner released, where's where the cutoff point is. So obviously they're gonna keep things slow for a little while. We've really only gotten this Yu-Gi-Oh, this Klein, and this Adis, and now obviously the Alice that we're gonna be getting tomorrow. Oh, uh, let's just take a quick look at what the event is gonna be about. Scroll down a bit here. Um, I assume there's an event, right? It's always at the very bottom. Okay, here we go. Uh, showdown. Aqua Hobgoblin. Okay, yup, it's just gonna be a uh, very simple thing. Um, showdown is where you gather up event points by taking down bosses. Okay, yeah, you'll get the items. That, yeah, it's just very simple. Uh, we got Yui right there, which we'll be able to... I, I don't know why we can't... I feel like we've always been able to summon for the free character relatively early on. So the fact that we can't do it yet is kind of odd to me. But um, hopefully this does mean that after uh, this earth set and then after the fire set, we'll probably get some water units, hopefully some limited ones so I can really feel the need to uh, summon and hopefully they can be pretty good. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think of Alice down below. Let me know if you're gonna be summoning. If you do, let me know how you do. I will just be putting up a video for the new event because I'm not gonna be summoning here. I'm going to keep uh, gathering up these cubes and get ready for whatever's going to come next. Dusselbert will probably be next week, which he's going to be a skip from me as well. I don't really... Uh, I'm not a huge Dusselbert fan, plus I really don't need the help with fire. I don't think anyone is going to need the help with fire. So it does kind of feel like a waste to be releasing him now. But uh, I guess we'll see uh, how good he is. If he's absolutely busted, you know, that would be the only way I see people summoning for him. Since he's not going to be limited, that's for sure. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.